Stephen Hawking was one of the greatest scientists of our time. Often called a 21st century Albert Einstein, he was famous for his work on the origins of the universe from the Big Bang to black holes. Diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease as a young man, he was confined to a wheelchair and spoke through a computer. But Hawking was living proof people could overcome even the greatest obstacles. For me, it is quite an achievement. I never thought I would get so far. His 1988 book, A Brief History of Time, became a bestseller and made him an unlikely international celebrity. <gasps> and a cameo on The Simpsons Hawking. brought him the greater fame. I wanted to see your utopia, but now I see it as more of a fruit topia. The episode was very funny, and almost as many people know me through The Simpsons as through my science. President Obama awarded Hawking the Medal of Freedom in 2009 for pushing the boundaries of science. Professor Stephen Hawking was a brilliant man and a mediocre student. <laughs> and he kept on pushing. He took a zero-gravity flight in 2007, a lifelong ambition, and the first time in 40 years he could move without his wheelchair. In 2012, the celebrated physicist took center stage as he opened London's Paralympic Games. He encouraged people to look up at the stars, not down at their feet. In 2015, Hawking teamed up with a Russian tech billionaire to launch a $100 million hunt for aliens beyond Earth. We are alive. We are intelligent. We must know. An authority on the past and the future, Hawking will be remembered for his brilliant mind and fierce determination. Tina Krause, CBS News.